Um, for myself, I didn't really have work um, prior to getting sober. So for me, it was more uh, getting started with work. I was uh, I had a sense of willingness and uh, a sense of duty to start uh, striding for goals in my life when it came to a you know work and career. But it was it was humbling and. Uh, something I, I that, that made me feel like an adult to be honest with you I was kind of not a uh, employable during my, my days in addiction so yeah I took a, a sense of pride getting getting into the position of being able to work and and I took a lot of pride in showing up and, and, and on time and, you know I, 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 I truly did it was a I still do to this day. You know, I enjoy showing up. I like being responsible. I like being able to do the job that I'm asked to do. Um, so I enjoy it. I enjoy working because I never really did. I was a little afraid. Um, I do remember that though. I was excited to get started with work and find a job. I was afraid of what other people, you know, what employers, would think about me, you know, I had a, I had a record, um, two-time felon, you know, all these various different stigmas and obstacles I, I thought I'd have to face. I, I was also sharing um, with the individuals that I had lived in a halfway house and there in this new area that I got sober in, and I was nervous. I was nervous. I was full of fear. I wasn't sure if I could, it would work. So I had the, had both, you know, excitement and fear, um, you know, but, but faith prevailed and I was able to get a job and, you know, they, uh, they took a shot and a gamble with me. I remember the individual who hired me, he said, listen, we don't really hire felons like that, to be honest with you. And I appreciated it in flat out honesty. Um, he said, but we're going to, we're going to take a gamble with you. You seem like a decent guy. He also said you were big. So maybe you can carry some lumber around. Um, took a shot, man. And I, I stayed there for a year and, uh, you know, they threw a party for me when I left. I went to work in treatment right after a year, threw a party for me. And it was, a, you know, it was amazing. It was a rewarding feeling to be acknowledged as a good employee. It was something I've never experienced before. And, uh, get the honor and privilege to experience what it's like to be a good employee every day, especially with RCF. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It was a goal uh, of mine. Um, surprisingly, I knew I wanted to work for Recovery Centers of America. They were they were, they were new to our area at the time and, uh, I, you know, did a lot of research. It's a good company. Um, and I knew I wanted to get back to uh, helping people and working in the field because um, I took some time off just to really, you know, I had moved to a different area and I wanted to kind of establish my footing in the community, the recovery community, um, most importantly, and kind of build my a new network at the time um, and then get back into doing what, you know, I have a passion to do, which is helping other people um, find successful recovery, you know. So it was an amazing feeling. Um, I was so nervous. I prayed about it so much. And, uh, you know, I've been here for going on four years and uh, I wouldn't want to work anywhere else. I love Recovery Center of America. I believe in the vision, um, not just the vision, but you know, Recovery Centers of America I believe in my vision as well. Um, so to invest myself in a company such as RCA and to be equally as invested in, is something I've never experienced in my life, and I'll uh, I hold it near and dear to my heart as far as work is concerned. What I like most about working for RCA is that the work that I do and that my coworkers, everyone on board, does on a daily basis has such an overall impact on the lives of you know, um, people struggling with alcoholism and drug addiction. It's, it's, it's rewarding work. It's uh, even in a hard day. It's like that, that reward in itself is its own. Like if you can stay and focused on your purpose and why you do what you do, hard days will pass. Uh, we all have them. 
Um, but I love, I love it. So the, the, the vision, the purpose, the, the outcome of the work that we do at Recovery Centers of America is the, the most rewarding thing. So that's what I like most. I also enjoy my coworkers. It's, it, you know, I enjoy my coworkers all too well, you know. They're there, they're supportive, um, they carry the same vision as I do, and uh, we all have each other's backs in, the, in the, you know, in certain areas. So it, it, I love it. I love working for Recovery Centers of America, and that's what I like the most is, you know, the outcome of the work that we do on a daily basis. That's a reward in itself. Do it, do it. Um, coming from another member of the recovery community, um, it's, it's rewarding. It's rewarding work. Um, make sure you're on top of your own recovery, um, because your work isn't your recovery. I would, I would, I would establish that with them as well. Um, but do it if you're already considering in your consciousness and your, or your gut, your higher power is kind of speaking to you in that mannerism. Act on it. You know. Um, it's rewarding work. It's, 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 it's definitely worth it. You know, I don't see myself working anywhere else, but recovery centers of America.